Hello and welcome to the Climbing Daily Friday Gear Show. Now, as you can see, Camp Cassin have sent us a bunch of gear to test and use. And the main thing we're going to be looking at are these, the new Alpinist Pro crampons. These are meant to be next level in terms of their ability to take on steep and mountainous terrain. So today we're going to look at them and then take them through their paces. One thing you notice straight away about the crampon is how stiff it is, and that's due in part to this unique adjustable linkage system. So one piece of metal that you can adjust to fit the size of your shoe that connects directly into the heel piece and is just one piece of solid metal. The whole crampon is made of chromalloy steel, which allows the crampons to absorb energy where there's stresses, so in the front points or when you're kicking in. It also, again, makes the crampon very stiff. Now, adjustability is something that the Alpinist Pro does very well. And we've already talked about this linkage system that you can change for the size of your shoe. It's got three toe bail adjustment points, two heel bail adjustment points, and three height adjustment points on the back. That means that you can tweak this thing to exactly fit the size of your boot and the type of your boots. It's fiddly to start with, but once it's done, that's it. You leave it, no more faffing. So this adjustability continues with the rest of the crampon. Straight out of the box, you get the option to have an automatic uh, front toe section or a semi-automatic that goes over the front of the boot. I've been using actually uh, the automatic ones, which is weird for me because usually I use the other ones, but actually these feel really bomber and it means that all that kind of faff at the front goes away. So personally, I prefer this. You get these really aggressive front point teeth, which are vertical, so great at digging into steep ice and for standing on those little tiny rocks if you're doing a section of dry tooling or mixed climbing. These secondary points, as you can see, super ultra aggressive. They're gonna dig in and keep you nice and stable on any kind of steep snow or ice. Now we're excited to use these crampons, so we thought we'd jump straight from here up a mountain in the Mont Blanc Massive, take all of the kit that Camp Casten have sent us and put these to the test. Now, honestly, the weather outside is looking terrible, but that isn't going to deter us. Let's spin to a mountain. So we've come up the Skyway from Italy, uh, and as you can see, the weather isn't exactly playing ball. Uh, we were going to do this beautiful alpine route with gorgeous views. It, it, it's all gone a bit wrong. But what I reckon we do, this is Ben, by the way, he's going to be my climbing partner today. Hi. What we're going to try to do is go out there and find something to test these crampons out. So a bit of glacier walking, a bit of scrambling stuff, um, and hopefully some slightly steeper rock as well, so we can see how well they climb on rock. Absolutely. That's the plan anyway. So I've adjusted these like we talked in the studio earlier by putting the back section of the heel clip thing on the middle setting and I've adjusted the slider to fit my boot size so they fit onto here perfectly and immediately I've been quite impressed by that. Um, it's really clean, you just open it up, clunk it back and click it down and the whole process feels very smooth and easy to do. Uh, so, so far, so good. So as you can see, the weather is uh, pretty much a whiteout. So we've found a little bit of ridgy, scrambly section. So we're gonna go up and just pitch a little bit of that to test out how these crampons feel on rock. So we found this little mixed section of ridge here uh, with some snow bits in it, some rocky little steps. So it should be a good first test for these crampons. All right, so scrambly a little bit done. Let's find something a bit steeper. So what I immediately like about these is the stiffness of those front points and the precision you can get from them. It gives you a lot of confidence in standing on those little tiny edges.
It's a little bit steeper ground there, allowing me to get some hooks in. And this is the joy of living in Chamonix, is you get sent this kit and we can actually come up here and properly test it, regardless of the weather, we can find something to climb. Right, so that's the weather starting to come in for this 12 o'clock storm that's meant to arrive. So we're going to decamp up to the cafe and have a chat about these crampons and how we think they performed. So we've come back inside and we're going to have a little debrief about these Alpinist Pro crampons. And it is worth saying that we've only used it very, very briefly, uh, but enough to sort of get an idea of how they feel. So Ben, for me, stiffness was key with these and I've been quite impressed with that. Yeah, definitely the stiffest crampon I've ever had on. See, they don't collapse like a lot of other crampons. It's just two pieces of metal, like the, the middle beam is made of the same piece as the back piece. These front points have got a lot of reinforcement behind them. They're not going anywhere. Really, really thick and sturdy. Yeah, that, that's sturdy because they are super, super beefy. And I, I think for me, the closest crampon I can relate it to is the Petzl Sarkin because of those vertical points. Yeah. Um, and I think this, this is overbuilt and burly and I, it, it's going to be designed for steeper ice Absolutely. or like harder dry tooling. Disadvantage wise, you are going to have that heaviness coming in, like they are on the heavier side of crampons. And this orange finish obviously rubs off super, super quickly on the rock. Uh, so it looks lovely in the box, but quickly it's going to become proper crampons. It felt quite long, those front points coming out the front of the boot to me. Maybe it just takes getting used to. Yeah, yeah, quite possibly. I think um, if you were climbing something a bit steeper, with especially ice, where you want the points sticking out that little bit more, because you obviously want to clear your toe when you're digging into the ice, then maybe it's less of a problem. Obviously, you've got quite a lot of adjustability. Uh, um, just to get our boots in today, I've got mine a little bit set back, but I think probably in the future I'll set them a bit further forward for sure. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's versatile, and that's what we're going to do. So, um, yeah, that's it. We will be testing this throughout the summer, uh, climbing them as much as possible, so stay tuned for that. That's kind of it, isn't it? Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.